So this driver spent $180,000 to start an Uber black business. That's what I teach on Gig Rocket for years and years and years. I wish this guy had taken my course. I wish he had reached out to me. I would have saved him a lot of money and showed him how to do it the right way. And then the company deactivates his account. He's made this $180,000 investment, right? Now, what, what's interesting, I just made a video a week ago uh, showing Travis Kalanick pay the guy 90 something thousand dollars back, right? And then out, this guy pushes out this um, press release. So my thinking is here that he may have seen this opportunity. Okay, let me put uh, put this article out because this is a paid article, right? And and maybe I'll get my 180 grand back or get some sympathy because I spent that money and now they just deactivated me. So um, after the video, I want to show you how we do this correctly, right? Um, where he went wrong, basically. So let's dive in here. Driver spent $180,000 to start an Uber black business, then the company deactivated his account. By Levi Sumagazi. March 11th, 2023, 7.59 a.m. Eastern Time. Miguel Abreu, a ride-hailing driver, bought a Chevy Tahoe for about $80,000 last summer. Wrong. He spent about $10,000 getting a commercial license and hiring an accountant to set up a luxury Uber black business, then bought a Mercedes for $90,000 and lined up another driver for that vehicle. Then in early December, Uber Technologies Incorporated deactivated his account. Abreu of Lynn, Massachusetts, told MarketWatch the company kicked him off the Uber app permanently because it suspected he was splitting his account, meaning two people were driving for one account. One day, Uber asked Abreu to prove he was at the airport, so he sent the company a photo of himself. He was then told the photo's metadata showed him as being somewhere else. That somewhere else was on an island unreachable by car, pointing to an obvious mistake, he said. Yet after seven years of driving for Uber, he found his account deactivated. Abreu tried to plead his case a few times by going to the company's office in Saugus, Massachusetts. How could that be? Abreu said he told Uber. You know I'm an Uber black driver. I bought this expensive car. I got a commercial license. I shouldn't just be deactivated. Uber black is the company's premium service, which, among other things, requires drivers to have higher ratings, commercial licenses and nor cars, and lets passengers reserve rides up to 30 days in advance. Abru is just one of many drivers who face deactivations by geek companies like Uber at any moment. The issue is common and widespread enough that some states, such as New York, New Jersey, and Washington have enacted laws that include provisions on deactivation processes. It is mentioned in a proposed ordinance in Chicago, as well as in proposed legislation in Massachusetts, the only state in the nation that conducts an additional background check for drivers in addition to the one carried out by ride hailing companies, and that also can play a role in deactivations if it deems it necessary. New Uber Lyft, Door Dash Win as Appeals Court Upholds California's Prop. 22. A Bruce said the person at the Uber office told him he had sent an appeal and that it had been insufficient to reopen his account. But he hadn't actually sent an appeal, he said. I left the Uber office pretty unhappy, Abru said. I had invested so much in this effort. So I went back to Uber the next day. I was so dumbfounded, I asked them to please check everything. He said he tried to figure out what else could have contributed to his deactivation. The 42-year-old native of the Dominican Republic had recently become a U.S. citizen. Might that have something to do with it? The woman who showed me all the information at Uber had said it had to be a mistake because, the photo indicated, you were on an island where cars can't go, a brew recounted. The woman said she would ask for the decision about his account to be reconsidered, he said. After a week, he went back to the office and was told his deactivation was final and permanent. Hmm. Not long after that, he gave up on contacting Uber. He had also driven for Lyft Incorporated, so he continued doing that. This week, MarketWatch asked Uber for comment about a Bruce situation. Within two days, a spokesperson said the company had reversed its decision to deactivate him, which appeared to be based on suspicion of fraud. We approach any deactivation decision with caution and consideration, 
Spokesperson Austin Radcliffe said, Drivers are also able to appeal eligible deactivations, which includes submitting additional evidence. We're committed to listening to drivers and continuing to make our processes better. Also, sometimes there is no way for drivers to prove their innocence. Rules seek to address apps banning gig workers. And Uber and Lyft drivers are facing discrimination from customers and getting banned from the apps, the court finds. Abru said he was able to return to driving on the Uber app the same day and plans to try to restart his Uber Black business. He had to sell the Mercedes after his account was deactivated, but he plans to buy a less expensive vehicle and find another driver for that one. Because it has been months since Abru's deactivation, he said that the driver he had previously lined up to drive for his business, essentially becoming his partner and sharing earnings as he provides the vehicle and commercial insurance, had to find another job. While Abru expressed gratitude about being reactivated on Uber, he said what happened to him was arbitrary and calls for action. He said he will continue to support fellow drivers in pushing for proposed legislation in Massachusetts that aims to give drivers collective bargaining power. So, he's lucky he went to Bloomberg and that a spokesperson got involved and uh, that he got reactivated, right? He used the media. That's one way of doing it. Um, he's also lucky his story blew up and got their attention. Uh, most of the people uh, really don't know how to handle the media and get through to them. Um, he did it the right way and he's lucky. He's very, very lucky. Now, in that period, he obviously lost his Mercedes, $96,000 or how much of it was. Uh, moral of the story, when you're getting into this game of building out fleets and your business, you don't immediately go out and purchase two vehicles. First big mistake. Um, the other thing is the cost of setting up his company. Um, he paid 10 grand. Probably uh, most of that went to an attorney. Uh, those fees with the licensing and everything included, the LLC should not cost you more than 4000 So $6,000 lost right there. Then he went out and bought a Tahoe. You don't get a Tahoe for this business. You get a Suburban or a Cadillac at an auction for, you could still right now get them for 30 grand through a dealer auction. So what you do is you start off with your five to $6,000 licensing company establishment, you name it, attorney's fees, uh, another 35 grand for your car at an auction and you're out the gate at 40 grand. You then start building clientele over the next six, 12 months before you start that next investment, the second car. And you don't buy a Mercedes for $96,000. You continue adding the vehicle that works for this industry and that's a Suburban or a Cadillac. He probably went out and bought an S550, huge mistake. The Lux market uh, with Uber and Lyft is dead. They're charging too much. People, riders are no longer taking those vehicles. So those are some of the big mistakes he made. Um, I will save you an absolute um, fortune showing you how it's done at Gig Rocket. Um, take the private chauffeur course. You get the fleet course included, right? You get to basically two for one. And um, I take you through all the steps. Had this guy spoken to me, I'll almost put my money on it. He wouldn't have lost his company. He would have got deactivated and he would have got back on because he used smartly, used the media to get reactivated, but he would not have lost his company and he would have not have lost that second car. And once you start building out clients in six to 12 months, you add vehicle after vehicle after vehicle. Never ever, ladies and gentlemen, go out and buy two, three, four vehicles at the same time. If you don't know the business, start with one. Learn the ins and outs and then start growing it. Check it out. The link is below.